Hello friends, this is Rupchand and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-to-step -step process how to connect GoDaddy domains to Bluehost Hosting. So, do not skip this video, watch till the end and learn. Let's begin. So friends, this is my computer screen and you need to open your Google Chrome, okay? And in this search bar, you have to write first Bluehost. Okay, Bluehost. See the first link. You need to click this link, and you will be landed up to the GoDaddy page. Okay. So after that, you need to click login. You have to log in your account, and I'm sure you will have a account in this bluehost that is the reason you are watching my videos okay so here you can give your email or domain name or you can give your password which is i have already given okay so log in your account So after that you need to click domain and you are going to assign a domain right uh, so you have to click assign okay see here is the things so here you can see the step one enter domain okay so use a domain the first one is a use a domain that is already associated with your account domains that means uh, if your domains is belongs to same company like you have a domains from the bluehost and you have a hosting also bluehost then you can click this link okay uh, but i am going to connect a domain from good at godaddy okay so you have to click this one okay and you have to enter your domain names okay so for that i have to open a new page and in a search bar i have to write go daddy okay go daddy okay so go daddy land uh, go daddy link and you need to sign in again in a go daddy here you can log in your account sign in And here you can see okay so this is the domain which is I'm going to connect with the Bluehost okay and that is already connected with the Bluehost guys Bluehost domain uh, Bluehost hosting is very nice my all the websites are belongs to Bluehost hosting okay so Bluehost they are they are providing a best chat services call services and support services this is the reason I love Bluehost okay so you need to here what this is uh, use a domain that is not already associated with your account domain so you need to provide your domain name so you need to click this you need to copy this domain okay domain name and you need to paste it here oh, oh. so no 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 just go back so i'll write the same one the digital group dot org right i'll write the digital group dot org digital group dot org okay then they are verifying see verifying domain so verify is done 
step 2 verify ownership to verify ownership of the domain digitalgroup.org please point the name servers for the term domain digitalgroup.org to nsbluehost.in and ns2bluehost.in so there is you need to <coughs> change your you need to change your name server now okay name server okay so you have to go to the go daddy and you need to go you need to scroll down okay see this is the one which is i'm going to connect with the bluehost account okay bluehost hosting so here you can find the dns which is they are asking to see dns okay so you need to click this one okay again you have to scroll down and you can see the name servers okay so you need to click the change change name server here is enter my own name server okay you have to click this one advance and here you can see the block where you can have to mention this name server okay so you have to click this name server control c paste it here and name server 2 again the same thing name server 2 ns2 copy dns and paste it here done then you have to click in the save button okay save then what they are saying name server object digital group dot org so yes yes i consent to update name server for the selected domains okay they are taking permission okay so you have to click again continue button and done that's all my friends that's all you can see uh, here you can see your name server is connected okay there your domain is connected with the bluehost account okay so again you need to go to the bluehost okay see okay your bluehost account is done okay and then you have to click this assign this domain then your job will be done so after assigning the domain you can you can check it is done or not okay so let's go to the home page and you can go to the domains okay see see this is my main domain and which is i have done see you can find your domain here digitalgroup.org okay so that's it that's it guys thank you friends thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure this tutorial was helpful to you if this tutorial is helpful to you please do subscribe and share with your family and friends so thanks once again and let's go bye bye